House Glover once ruled as first men kings in the north following the devastation of the Long Night, but eventually they were made vassals by the kings of winter in House Stark. Their ancestral seat of Deepwood Mott lay in the heart of the northern Wolfswood, and the head of their house now holds the title Master of Deepwood Mott. House Bowl, Branch, Forester, and Woods are all sworn to the Glover family. Ethan Glover, the squire of Brandon Stark, was the sole survivor of the massacre at King's Landing, when King Ares II killed a host of 200 Stark men who had followed Brandon south to challenge Rhaegar Targaryen. Ethan would later die fighting alongside Ned Stark at the Tower of Joy after the supposed kidnapping of Lyanna Stark. One of the great knightly houses of the Vale, House Templeton rules from their seat at Nine Stars and are sworn to House Aaron of the Eyrie. Their power and influence rivals many lordly houses, as it is said they can raise a thousand men on their own. The head of their house is given the title Knight of the Nine Stars, and there is some indication they may have some Stark blood through Jocelyn Stark who married Benedict Royce and had several children, one of which married a Templeton. During the first Blackfyre Rebellion, the Knight of the Nine Star remained loyal to House Targaryen, serving under Lord Donal Aaron and dying in combat against Daemon Blackfyre at the Battle of the Redgrass Field. House Piper of the Riverlands ruled as lords from their seat at Pink Maiden. They were among the Riverland houses to rebel against Heron the Black during the War of Conquest, swearing fealty to Aegon the Conqueror. A lady of House Piper was said to have become Lord Quellyn Greyjoy's second wife, bearing him a son in Robin Greyjoy, who died as a child. She brought a maester with her to the Iron Islands, and when her stepson, Uragon Greyjoy, suffered an injury, losing fingers, she insisted the maester sew them back on, rather than simply burn the wound shut. Uragon would die at the age of 14 from infection. When Balon Greyjoy returned to Pike after the death of his father. He cut off the maester's fingers and forced Lady Piper to sew them back on, causing the maester to bleed out and die in horrible pain. Lady Piper would later die in childbirth. From their seat at Saltcliffe, the Ironborn House of Sunderly rules, sworn to House Greyjoy of Pike. Lord Quellyn Greyjoy's first wife was said to have been a lady of House Sunderly, and she bore him five sons in Balon, Euron, Victarion, Uragon, and Aeron Greyjoy. From their seat at the Golden Tooth, House Lefford guards one of the largest entrances to the Westerlands on its eastern border. Their house was founded during the Andal invasion when an Andal warlord married a lady of First Men blood. It is believed they were given their seat by the Kings of the Rock in House Lannister. A Lord of Lefford commanded the Lannister armies for King Aegon II and the Greens in the Dance of the Dragons Civil War. Lord Lefford died in the battle by the lake shore. During the first Blackfyre Rebellion, they remained loyal to House Targaryen and the Lord of Lefford would die fighting Sir Quentin Ball, a supporter of Daemon Blackfire. Ruling from their seat at Golden Grove, House Rowan traced their lineage back to the daughter of a legendary First Men King, Garth Greenhand. She is remembered as Rowan Goldtree, who was so devastated by her lover's betrayal, she wrapped an apple in her golden hair and planted it on a hill. It would grow into a golden tree, the sigil of House Rowan. Some stories say Lady Rowan would later give birth to a bastard son, whom history would remember as Lan the Clever. After the decline of House Osgrey, the Rowans were named Marshal of the North March, responsible for the protection of the Reach's northern border. Houses such as the Osgreys and the Webbers are sworn to the Rowans. From the Dun Fort in the town of Duskendale, House Riker rules sworn to King's Landing in the Crown Lands. They rose to power after the fall of House Darkling, who rebelled against the Targaryens in the defiance of Duskendale, capturing King Aerys II. But after Sir Barristan Selmy rescued the king, House Darkling was destroyed and their lands and titles given to the Rikers. It is said a Lord of Riker once made a joke about Tywin Lannister in his presence, and Tywin stared the man down until he was so uncomfortable he left the room. During Robert's rebellion, Sir Jeremy Riker Riker remained loyal to King Aerys, and after the betrayal of the Lannisters, was given the choice of death or the wall. He chose the Night's Watch, rising to become a leader amongst the Rangers. From their seat at Rainhouse in the Stormlands, House Wilde ruled as Bannerman to House Baratheon. Sir Willem Wilde served as a King's Guard under King Daeron II and fought for Prince Arion Targaryen, called the Bright Flame during the Trial of Seven at the Tourney of Ashford. They would lose to Sir Duncan the Tall, aided by Baylor Breakspear, son of King Daeron, who would die in the fighting. Though they have proven largely loyal to House Baratheon, Sir Gawain Wilde attempted to escape Storm's End during the Siege of Mace Tyrell in Robert's Rebellion. Fearing death from starvation, he had planned to surrender to the Tyrell forces, but was arrested and died in a cell. 
from their seat at Will in the northern Boneway of Dorne, House Will have long defended the northern border against the Marcher Lords from the Stormlands. It is said they have tunneled beneath their castle, linking great caverns to increase the defensive capabilities of their territory. Willa of Will was a female warrior who fought against the Storm King, Duron the Young but was defeated at the Battle of the Bloody Pool. During the First Dornish War, Lord Will of Will fought Ori's Baratheon, defeating the Targaryen forces at the Boneway and capturing Ori's. He would later be ransomed back to Aegon I, but his sword hand was cut off, so he might never raise it again against Dorne. Will of Will's son, Walter Will, would also fight the Targaryens by joining the Vulture King, a Dornish outlaw who gathered 30,000 men to fight against the Marcher Lords of the Reach and Stormlands. Walter Will was captured by Ori's Baratheon to pay their family back for taking his sword hand. 